Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Ben. I'm taking over the space for Justin Pekarik. Justin Pekarik, how are you doing today? Hey, we need a light on Justin's face because there's no light on my face. Uh, so Justin's going to be doing that. That close? It's okay to be uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> What's up everyone? My name is Ben and I'm a local realtor here in Orlando. You may know me as the downtown Orlando guy and we also have here Kayla DeVoogle. Hi, I'm Kayla. What's up Kayla? So I'm gonna be, oh, right there, there we go, that's working out. So um, I think we're gonna be talking about what it takes to thrive mm -hmm. in the market. Wait, you go first. I, I go first, okay. So the way I'm handling buyers right now is um, I if I get a buyer in, first thing I do is I kind of understand their situation mm -hmm. and I try to find what their motivation is. Why are they moving? Um, is it because they want to be in a new school district before school starts? Um, do they have to absolutely move mm -hmm. from wherever they're at? Um, are they upgrading or downgrading because they need more or less space? Um, and I try to get a firm grasp of why they're moving. So spinning off of what you said, I think one of the most important things is to gain their trust and let them know that you're working for them to find them the best home. And right now, because there's just nothing available, it's been really hard to 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 give them a lot of options. So you kind of just need to see when things pop up and just be quick. Yeah, and what's your favorite thing about being a realtor? So I love working with people. I think it's really fun. It's nice being a realtor because you're you have to be personable in order to get things done my thing is i i really enjoy seeing the houses yeah the houses are probably my thing i don't care if they're old medieval um brand new if i can see something that i can take away and probably mm -hmm. put in my own place i i absolutely love that so let's go into um the things you actually absolutely hate i think that the worst part of real estate would be having to give bad news yes and having to uh, have difficult conversations mm -hmm. with people you barely know for me i feel like in the beginning i didn't want to get back to people because i would kind of put it off a little bit and try and think about what i how i wanted to say things but now i'm realizing that you have to just do it you can't think about it too much you need to be polite and just get to the point as quickly as possible yeah, so so in this market where there are more realtors than there are houses, how are you providing value? So I specialize here in Lake Nona with new construction. So I'm usually just keeping people updated on what's coming. And I find that that's one of my most valuable resources. I, do, I think I do the same thing. I'm yeah. more of like, I drive around and I just see what's popping. Like in College Park, you really don't have these listings where um, no one knows about them. Mm -hmm. Like these new construction builds, they're, nobody, they're, knows. nobody knows. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. And then you just drive around and you see them throwing down a slab of concrete on and you're like, where is this? This is not on the MLS. Mm -hmm. Is it already under contract? Does it someone already is someone buy that lot and they're building for themselves or is this going to go on the market? So that's one of the biggest things that I've seen is, is helping me mm -hmm. go around and, and just drive around and see what there is.